Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. This is probably about the fifth time I've tried to film this video so hopefully this time it will work. Um, this is my 2023 bullet journal. Um, what had happened is I got, I made a Christmas order in early December 2022 for pickup. Uh, it actually then took four weeks to order a pickup. That was a next day pickup. Um, and I didn't order it for delivery because obviously Christmas time can be a little bit uh, maniacal for the post service as well. So I intentionally ordered it for pickup so I didn't have to go into the store just to do the shopping. Um, but yeah, so the store had uh, fumbled it quite severely badly. Um, but as a kind of result, I um, had this kind of leftover notebook in January by the time I ended up picking up the order. Um, and uh, so when I'd had this notebook, um, anyone who's probably notebook obsessed knows uh, we usually have too many notebooks. And so I was kind of looking at what to do with this one. And I decided to create a bullet journal for last year. Um, I'm never happy with getting a uh, calendar or a diary, you know, uh, they never kind of fulfill the requirements that I want or that I need or um, I ended up like I end up not using them or stop using them after a while so it ends up being that uh, I might use, you know, a diary for two or three months and then never use it for the rest of the year. So I was hoping actually getting to create them uh, would be something that I would use. So this is a dot grid um, notebook, which is why I had decided to um, do a bullet journal. Um, and this is the key. Um, I put this in um, all of these, most of these um, came from, almost the idea should I say, came from uh, Pinterest and so a lot of these here notes, tasks to do, events important came from uh, like Pinterest keys. I very rarely if ever used the key. Um, this is the index. It is up to August. I haven't actually completed the rest. You'll see what else I didn't complete as we go through. Or oh, I've still yet to complete for last year. Um, so we started in February and um, so I kind of had an important date and events, um, the month and goals. And I had a habit tracker that I very quickly um, stopped utilizing. Obviously I thought I would be tracking more habits but as the further I just kind of went along, the more that I felt like it was a burden, which wasn't meant to be the point of um, tracking habits. So this is the type of um, layouts I did. I kind of went for simple, easy layouts to start with um, and kind of wanted to keep um, it easy. This is the type of tracker that I ended up going with, the tracker um, in on the, the week I was working with. I did have this Future Logs. Um, future Logs um, generally tend to kind of uh, be used as a tracker in a yearly overview, but I kind of put everything under Future Logs. Um, this is the book um, draw. I haven't... Um, or the bookshelves. I haven't actually filled in all of the bookshelves yet, but um, this is the birthday spread, so or the birthday wheel, should I say. Um, this is a reminder. Um, this is things that I went to the cinema. It's not movies that I watched, but cinema, theatre and travel. I still have one more box to fill in here. Um, so I saw Avatar, D&D &D, and Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, in the cinema. In the theatre I saw, well, shows, I saw Hamilton, Blues Fest and Dracula. Um, travel was Melbourne, Bundy and uh, New Zealand, so I still have to add in the third one there. 
um, this is the six month overview from March to August um, these were some other avenues that I filled in kind of under the future logs um, title so this was kind of like the negative ideation and the positive ideation um, this was our task paral paralysis solutions when did I last words with meaning 30 minutes self-care so just as a reminder to do um, okay this was another two different types of tracker that I tried to um, shoehorn together which is level 10 life goals and um, a level life goals tracker um, so as I kind of went down and then went up so these kind of match these ones here but then I didn't end up tracking them after a little bit okay um, these were favorite games that I have which is banana grams skip bow the vulgar quartet which is kind of like a um, matching game exploding kitsons D D past the pigs I haven't drawn the pigs there yet Monopoly, Switch Games, and Gloom. Um, and then we get into March. Um, so again, March had very similar setups to February, um, just with some plants in there. Um, we then, I started a highlights after this, um, which is why it's at the back of March. Um, I then started pixel art. So as you can see, the more I went through, the more I added things to um, to my bullet, bullet journal so this was really a year of kind of the experiment um, and uh, this is kind of um, again very much like February and March in the um, layout um, highlights again at the back um, I came to May and I started putting the highlights at the front of the month um, I actually kind of liked it, this circle layout. Um, I think it's probably because February, March were very, very similar layouts. I still had the tracker and the month um, to go with. Um, so this is just some spare artwork that I had to put in. Again, we come to June with the highlights at the start. Um, again, this is where I start to experiment a bit more with uh, layouts um, and it's still a week per spread um, like that and then uh, we hit July I was a little bit more conscientious about doing this accurately and we've got another highlight um, and then again um, experimenting with uh, different types of um, art August and August highlights again this is where I changed to one week per page so week one week two week three week four week five so this is kind of like um, I just found a day to a page um, and this is the next future logs for the next six months um, September um, I didn't do a September title page um, but I did kind of add this little bit in here um, and then highlight so again I did another week per page to kind of um, set this out a bit um, I ended up liking this one and this one um, October um, and highlights so I uh, mixed together the two that I really liked which was of course this one and then the circles from May um, that we just saw back here where if I could get May up it would be really great but um, it's a bit far back so I liked the circles and I liked um, that so this is how we got these spreads um, and, it, and then of course we hit November um, this is my first time trying to do this type of uh, box per day monthly spread um, I 
messed up, messed up the count here obviously and their box is too small and too far apart from each other so I kind of uh, got the point but didn't like how it turned out um, again this is kind of another riff on that um, went with boxes so this was kind of more of a box themed um, one and I didn't like how small these ones were and I messed up how far these were apart um, I kind of liked how this turned out so kind of again it was a uh, these were weak per page layouts and um, a mix of boxes and this type of page so one week was a box one week was this and again by this point I'm not doing the habit trackers at all um, and I really kind of liked how this uh, fan out effect work um, these are just some shopping and the oils that I had so that's kind of how um, 20 23's layout happened it really was kind of an experiment on how uh, to do things and what to put in um, I did end up liking these books so for 2024 I got this one um, and what we have I just had kind of like stenciled these out and cut these out for 2024 we have the index in which is currently up to date I still have to go back and complete 2023's um, I have yet to hand draw something here for future logs and uh, I've got all of the uh, six month layout here I do like this layout for the monthlies birthday wheel like the birthday wheel haven't completed the centre yet as we all know the centre does not hold um, this is my bookshelf as you can see I hand drew it uh, in 2023 and have found this little print for 2024 I actually like them both I don't really have a particular preference for um, either one uh, it's just that this was a significantly bigger book and this was a significantly smaller book so I kind of just went with the neater um, aspect um, this is just a kind of aspirational shopping list um, or things that just take time to save for so this again is the theatre movie and um, cinema books and the trouble one um, I messed up the book I messed up the count there but I don't really care um, this is the pixels these are the only two pixels that I'm uh, tracking this year um, and that's because I didn't end up completing the ones last year I'm trying to kind of get a balance in between what I like doing and what I like tracking and things that I don't go back to track this is the when did I last and I changed the layout as you can tell um, because a lot of this one in here this is the when did I last from last year um, a lot of the times this one um, which is the wash change sheets and the soda stream Canada canister change I ended up did not I ended up stopping tracking because I didn't really have enough space to keep on going um, whereas down here I figured even if I run out of room it is less of a you know at least I have that space to do um, or have more options again we get January spread the highlights um, here stay at the front um, and um, I like having the highlights at the front I fixed up the how I did the boxes for the month um, I don't have uh, obviously last year when I was doing this I had I had these um, from an old calendar that I pulled apart but I don't have that and so I've done it this way instead I like this way um, straight into the months I still have this monthly up here I haven't got anything that I'm tracking at the moment um, I didn't like how these numbers worked out but I liked how the layout is um, I do like how they're these um, lines on these ones 
so again this is um i and conversely i don't like how there's no separation between the days in this one um i've gone back as you can see to a spread per page or a week per page rather than a week per spread rather than a week per page i did like how this one turned out um this is probably my favorite so far that i've done um, the end of January we've come into February um, since I worked out the boxes for the first one I kind of conversely just have copied these boxes over for this one um, or the size of the boxes um, again highlights are at the start week five use the same um, layout that I did for the end of January and then again in my experimental trying out new uh, layouts um, I have done um, this kind of Harry Potter themed one. Again, there's a February one up the top. Uh, and this is where I am up to for February, which is, of course, the third week of February. I now kind of do the little box in red so you can see what week it is quite easily. Um, nearly all of these will have a notes column in it and um i then have to do the next two weeks for and then this will be my march cover sheet so um i'm slowly working my way through that predominantly what i use are these types of pens which are uh, just black pigment liners um, i have a variety of different um sizes and shapes with these ones uh, what has made my lettering easier is i just got a uh, uh this type of it doesn't want to i got this type of pen for a little more of my lettering um these are the type of ones these fine liners are the type of ones that i use for the pixel art and any of the color that I use um, this is the type of eraser that I use um, my last one I had for probably about 10 years um, and it broke um, and these are the type of other tools that this kind of like random math set that you can get um, it does come with a few things in it if it had had me fall apart it may have been a little bit more easier to show you but um, these type of things come in quite useful when you are um, doing this. So don't discount getting a math set. Most people wouldn't have had these since they were in school and probably don't think of them as a tool to use in bullet journaling. Um, I do have some washi tape that I haven't particularly used in um, doing my bullet journal, but I obviously used it in the 2023 one but I haven't used it in the 2024 one this is the glue roller that I use um, I found that this one works really really well and I like it um, so those are the kind of um, tools that I have been using this um, this ruler has come in um, you can't really see it where's my other ruler so I do have a little metal ruler and a long metal ruler but this um, a little ruler has come in uh, very very handy because not only does it um, fold it's a bit hard because it fold out but it has this grid section and of course folds down to a smaller size as well which is very very good so I have I do have a 30 centimeter ruler as well but I have a small metal and a small plastic with grid that folds out to a long one so there's some of the tools that I have been using for this. Um, anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the day. Let me know if you want to see any more of the bullet journal as we go along in 2024. Thank you. Bye.